Hey, somebody come get her. She dancing like a stripper. Hey, somebody come get her. She dancing like a stripper. Hello, guys. This shit game plays, and look who it is. Yeah, it's a me, Fabio. So for today's video, I decided to do something different, which is uh, what you need to know about Ryzen 3 3100 and 3300X, the new Ryzen 3 CPUs that will be launched. Um, and basically what you need to know, for example, in Portugal, the Ryzen 3 uh, 3100 will cost around 86 euros, which is a crazy, crazy good deal. And the Ryzen 3... 30, uh, 3300X will cost around 120 euros, which is not that much of a big deal for me, at, at least for me, of course. But the 86 euros one for four cores, eight threads, phew, that's crazy, crazy good. But well, let's start from, from the beginning, okay? Now, here you have the, the third generation, okay? And this is how the third generation works. Okay, let's first start from the CCX, which is a core complex. So let's say it, it, it is like a core group. So uh, every CCX in the third generation using seven nanometers have a max of four cores, eight threads per CCX. But you can have two CCX inside the CCD. So you can have up to eight core, 16 threads in a single CCD. Okay, then you can have more CCDs, in this case, for example, two CCDs. That's why we have, for example, the, um, the CPUs with 16 threads and 32 cores. Okay, this is possible on the AM4 socket. This is for the AM4, okay? Um, so basically, CCX, CCX, blah, 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 blah. Then we have the CLOD, which includes the memory controller to the DRAM and blah, blah, blah. Uh, for example, CPUs like Ryzen 5 3600 have only one CCD, so 3 cores, 6 threads per CCX. That's why they have a bit of inner latencies, and that's why when you test, for example, on ADA64, I don't remember if, if the copy values or the... Um, if Yes, I don't quite remember if it is the copy values or the write values, but one of those RAM values, the copy or write, are cut by half and that's because of the cc the ccd so just one ccd the ryzen 9 3900x for example has the full the full value of the copy write and read because it has two ccds this is just for information okay now let's go to the ryzen 3 3100 and 33 3300x sorry so these this is how they work okay these are the CPUs and this is how they work. So the Ryzen 3 3100 is way, way cheaper than the 3300X. Why? Just because it is, it, it has better binning? Not really. In this case, it is different. Because, for example, on Ryzen 5, um, 2600 and the 2600X, or the 3600 and the 3600X, the only big difference is the binning. So it means that the chips, the dice inside the X versions need way less voltage to reach the same frequency. Okay, that's the only difference. But that doesn't happen on the CPUs, the 30, the 3100 and the 3300X. The difference is here mainly. So here we have only one CCD, as usual. But on the 3100X, we have only two cores, four threads, per CCX. So we have one CCX with two cores for threads and another CCX with two cores for threads inside the same CCD. As for the Ryzen 3 3300X, we have only one CCX. So we have still one CCD, obviously, but we have only one CCX with four cores, eight threads and 16 megabytes L3 cache. What is the difference between both? Well, the biggest difference is, in fact, inner latencies and the cores. If you have all the cores, 4 cores, 8 threads, in a single CCX like the 3300X has, you will have way lower latencies inside the CCX because... inside the CCD, sorry, because the CCX 
won't have to be exchanging information between themselves. Okay, so you have only one CCX, so no inner latencies between the CCD. In the CCD between the CCX. Um, that's why the, um, the 3300X single core performance is a bit higher than the 3100X. Not only because of the boost frequencies, but mostly due to this. Only one CCX instead of two CCX in the same CCD. That's the biggest difference. Now, as can be seen, for example, uh, let's go to the AMD website and we have here the Ryzen 3 3100 and the Ryzen 3 30C 3300X. So the max boost clock on the 3100 is 3.9 GHz and the max boost clock on the 3300X is 4.3 GHz. And we also have some interesting things here. As you can see, for example, the Ryzen 3 2300X has only 4 cores, 4 threads, with a base clock of 3.5 and up to 4.0. While the 3100X, the 3100, while not being the, the most expensive Ryzen 3 CPU in this generation, it has 4 cores, 8 threads, so it has now hyper threading and it has um, a higher overclock ability. So the boost clocks are lower but the overclock that you can reach is higher because you have a third gen CPU instead of a, of a second gen one. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that even the Ryzen 3 3100 will be able to do at least 4.3 GHz. If you have at least a decent version, you can have a, a way, um, you can have, let's say, a really, you can be really unlucky on the lottery but most, most CPUs I can almost guarantee that they will do at least 4.3 GHz. 4.2 GHz is a must, but 4.3 GHz they will do it. Uh, while the 3300X versions with a, little more, with a little more voltage may be able to achieve 4.5 GHz. But well, overall the differences are... Yeah, the differences are the CCD, CCX, so the 3100 has two CCX inside the CCD, so more inner latencies, while the 3300X has only one CCX, uh, no inner latencies. The other difference is the boost clocks and the base clock, 3.6 GHz on the 3100, 3.9, 3.8 GHz on the 3300X, and the boost clocks are also different from, different from 3.9 GHz to 4.3 GHz. Those are the differences uh, and this is indeed a big leap in the Ryzen 3 generation because we now have Ryzen 3 with 4 cores, 8 threads instead of 4 cores, 4 threads, giving it a lot more value and 86 euros, 86 euros or even 99 dollars for 4 cores, 8 threads, pff, that is a pretty insane deal. And well guys, this was all I wanted to tell you. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave your comment in the comment section and tell me what you think about the Ryzen 3 3100 and the 3300X offers, because I really want to know. Thanks once again and see you in the next video. Adios.